Hello viewers, in this video I'll be going over the Dow Jones ETF ticker symbol DIA. The Dow Jones is currently up 75 basis points and we have about 40 minutes left in trading on the one hour chart. The MACD is now turning positive and we did close above the 200 moving averages on the one hour chart. That is a positive sign for the bulls on the four hour chart we are positive on the MACD and on the daily chart I see resistance forming or a possible decent resistance that coincides with the 50 day moving average and the 18 day moving average and that price is at 266 or 270 so I expect us to eventually reach at this resistance soon and we may continue on down and touch the 200 day moving average once more. So that is support because we did manage to bounce off that and the 200 day does coincide with past support. So that price is at 254 and 39 cents if we were to move on higher and touch the resistance that price movement will be about 81 basis points and if we were to reverse and continue on down that price movement is about 1.6 percent move down on the next module i'll compare today's current trend with this trend that dated back to May 20th, 2014 to August 14, 2014. I'll point out why these two charts are similar. So what we have here in the beginning of the trend, we start off on in or bottom of the Bollinger Band right here. And then we proceeded to move up higher on the trend. So let's move this and then after touching the bottom Bollinger Band we managed to stay above the middle Bollinger Band for several days even two or three weeks and then we proceeded to go right back down in a violent motion and then we have action of it attempting to reach the middle Bollinger Band right here and this will be our blue circle so on the trend in question what we have here in the beginning of the trend again we started off near the bottom Bollinger Band and then we proceeded on an up channel for several weeks and then violently we touched the bottom Bollinger Band right here and we attempt to touch the middle Bollinger Band right here and this would also be blue so what we have here are one two three four points one two three four points as well so there's reason to believe that the trends or patterns are similar the outcome and forecast would also be similar so in the forecast model I'll go day by day where the Dow Jones will head to in the next coming days so one day out two days out, three days out, four days out, five days out, six days out, and seven days out. So back then in May 20th, 2014 to August 14, 2014, the Dow Jones was up around 2% in seven days. And here's the line graph that I compared it to, overlapping it with the current trend and with the 2014 trend. And that is all. If you enjoyed this content, feel free to like, subscribe, and thank you for watching.